Welcome you guys. In this video we are going to work on this uh, landscape image. It's actually a wedding image, um, but the technique that I use here is going to be the same technique that you will use on landscapes sometimes, and so I wanted to include it in the landscape section so that you could uh, learn these techniques and use them when you're doing landscape photography. Now the first thing that you'll notice is that this image is underexposed. And I did that on purpose when I shot this because I wanted to get detail in the sky. And had I exposed it correctly, the sky would have completely gone white. It would have disappeared all the detail. And so I don't want that. And so I, I purposely underexposed. And with digital uh, cameras, underexposing is actually not a terrible thing to do because I can pull back detail from an underexposed area easier than I can pull back detail from an overexposed area. So if I would have shot this to where everyone and the grasses were lit how they should be, the sky would have gone completely white and I would not have been able to bring back the detail as easily as I can bring it back in the uh, grasses and in the people. So keep that in mind. You always want to, if you have to under or overexpose, Always underexpose because your camera can do more or these files can do more when you try to pull them back. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to fix my exposure. But again, just like when I shot this, if I just simply go here and start cranking my exposure, my sky disappears. And I might be able to fix that um, with my other sliders. But I'm going to do something that happens a lot in landscape. I'm actually going to fix my exposure through the graduated filter. And so the preset I have selected is Hero Brighten Plus Plus. And I'm just gonna come in here and just click and drag. Okay, and so you can see that I've begun to get brightness down in this area and it's starting to look good. Now I, I wanna lift the shadows of where the people are. And so I'm gonna come over here and I'm just going to start to drag that up. Okay, till about right there. Now I still need to find my black point because I want to have a real black in this image. So there it is right there. I saw it start to happen here. So now I've got black. I've also got some good brightness up here that you can see. So I've got a black and if not a white, a very close to white. So I've got good tonal range. And I want to just bring back some of the detail in that sky. Okay, so I like that. So, so far, so far, so good. Now, I want to, first off, let's go ahead and just choose auto white balance, see where it brings us. That looks pretty good for now. And I want to bring out the blue in the sky. And whenever we want to work specifically with one color, that is done in the HSL panel. So if I click on HSL, luminance is the brightness, saturation is the strength, and hue is the color. And so I want to change the strength of a color. And so I'm just going to click on the tool. And then I'm going to go somewhere where I have blue sky. And I'm going to click and drag upward. And you'll see that I'm bringing my blues back into my sky. So that it becomes a little bit more pronounced up here. Okay? And so that looks good to me. I could come to luminance and I could do the same thing. I could brighten my blues or darken them if I wanted to have a little bit more of a um, an exaggerated look, but I don't. I'm going to be just fine. I'll double click luminance to zero out those sliders. I'll, I'll be just fine with, with how that looks right there. Now, just a little bit more. I'm just going to kind of bring a little bit back more in through this area. And so I'm going to use the adjustment brush. I'm going to use the same brighten plus plus, shrink my brush down. And if you'll notice, my flow is about 38, so I have to paint on a few times just to get a little bit more brightness through the people right there. As I've done that, I think that I'm creating a little bit of, of glow to them, a, a, a lack of, of uh, contrast, and so I'm just going to go ahead and just slide that contrast slider up too. All right, I like that. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is I'm just going to go to my lens correction panel and I'm going to choose level. And level will straighten my image horizontally or based on horizontal lines. And so let's click on level. And it's just going to give it a little bit of a turn, but it's going to make it just a little bit straighter. Okay. And so that's it. That took me from um, where I began 
um, to my finished image very quickly, very easily. And I think it looks great now.